Hey everyone, it's Mark here. I just wanted to go back and do an addendum to a video that I did last week. Uh, the video was the Case 1 Carrier Landing Practice. Now that was a pretty relaxed video, but we did touch on some learning topics, one of which being the takeoff trim setting. Now, at the time, I knew that if I hit the takeoff trim button, it would trim the aircraft and we could take off just fine. But the truth is I didn't really fully understand the process and that was bothering me. So I went back and did some research and I wanted to share with you guys what I've learned. So in order to properly set takeoff trim in the Hornet for a carrier takeoff, there is a screen or a page on the DDI that we can use, which is the checklist page. So I'm just gonna zoom in on my console here Now on my right DDI, um, we have a page called the checklist page. Now to get to the checklist page, you would hit your menu button at the bottom here until you get to the support page, SUPT in the box there. Now on the top right hand corner of the support page, you have the checklist option. So you hit the button to the right of checklist and that brings up your checklist page. Now the checklist contains a list of things to check for landing and takeoff. But wh what we're interested in is our aircraft weight and our current stabilizer trim set. So for a carrier takeoff, the Hornet needs to be trimmed based on its current weight. So in our case, the weight is 46,980 pounds. Now the guideline for the trim setting for a Hornet is anything under 45,000 pounds is a trim setting of 16 degrees. Anything from 45,000 pounds up into just under 49,000 pounds is 17 degrees. And anything 49,000 pounds and above is 19 degrees of trim. So we can see for our aircraft, we are over 45,000 pounds and under 49,000 pounds. So that means we need 17 degrees of trim. Currently we are at 12. So if we look down at our trim button, which is behind your throttle on the left console, right here. This little button on top of the rudder trim knob is our stabilizer trim. So when we hit that, the default setting that it brings your stabilizers to is 12 degrees. And you can see when I hit it here, it's set to 12 degrees. Now, in DCS, the default setting to bring up your trim is the left control key and the up and down arrows. So if I hit left control and the down arrow, it's going to increase the degree of trim that I have. So I'm gonna do that until I hit 17 degrees. And now the aircraft is properly trimmed for the current weight. So now we will do takeoff. So now we'll just watch the trim setting there. So as we leave the deck, you can see it kind of neutralizes. Flap center gear up. So what's happening is that the flight computer is looking for the proper angle of attack as we leave the deck. And once it achieves that, it zeroes out the trim setting for us. So the pilot is literally hands off the stick during takeoff. Um, there is no need to turn off the trim setting or change change anything once you're off the deck. You just bring up your gear, bring up your flaps, and the aircraft is ready to fly. The flight computer takes care of lifting the nose and, and then resetting the trims for us once we're properly in the air. So just to add to that, that is for a carrier-based takeoff. On a land-based takeoff, the default setting of the button, the, the trim button, is 12 degrees, and that's the proper setting for a land-based or runway-based takeoff. You just hit the button and you're ready to go. It's only on the carriers that we use this sort of different setting for different weights. So I just wanted to share that with you guys, and uh, I hope that's something new or something that's going to help you guys become better pilots. And uh, I'm going to be doing more videos like this, just little 
micro tutorials on little things that are kind of you know sometimes we don't fully understand or you know we kind of get the idea but there's more to it so if you enjoy this video please uh let me know leave a like if you have any suggestions uh put it in the comments below and uh i hope to see you guys in my next video thanks for watching